just being in rooms with, you know, for the sheer aspect of space has always been a pleasure for me. From a very early age, I just felt happier, you know, moving through life, not having stuff. So I wanted the, the buildings to be unornamented and in a way have some sort of clarity so that you could see things. And I think, you know, when, when you do produce interiors with less in them, you know, the light becomes more interesting and, and there's a sense of freedom and space. My approach to design is very logical and a very step-by-step -step process. You, you always start with a blank sheet of paper. I mean, so you always say, well, what, what would be the ideal museum? What, what, what is it all for? And I think asking a lot of questions and, and doing a lot of listening and taking time is, I think, is one, perhaps you could describe that as one thing that we do. You're drawing on things that have happened to you I mean, in, 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 in your current life, but also you know, you bring, you, you must conjure up stuff from, from, you know, your whole rounded experience of things. The monastery was a, a project of a lifetime. The interesting thing is that the, the, the monks, of course, are different from us, but they are practical people because they, they have to live in a physical place, um, the same place all their lives. They, they felt that we would understand what's appropriate, not just in the fact of the costs of building and keeping those down, but unostentatious, unpretentious, unarty. I mean, the, the church is, is clearly the most important part of the monastery, and it's, it's the be all and end all. But you, you can only use what architects have to do these things. I mean, you can only, you know, you can only use light materials, scale, proportion, these kind of things, to form space. We wanted to do a book with Feiden, and again, it's, it's a thing of making choices with your partnerships, because you don't, you don't want to do something where you don't have a lot of feedback. So it's interesting to do something with editors at Feiden and hear their opinion. Uh, well, the title, Plain Space, is you know, I'm from Yorkshire, so plain speaking, plain space, which is what it's all about. It's, I mean, I've, all, I've done this stuff for myself, and I just feel very lucky that other people have you know, wanted to share or have their own thing done by us. Alison Moritz, who works here, has written the book, and she's been here for 10 years, so she's written the book about the clients, about the photography, about designing and about building from her perspective, but as an insider. It, it's incredible looking back and, you know, and, and seeing you know, the last 30 years work and what, what you know, with a huge team of people we've, you know, we've really through, throughout we've been able to achieve. But I never really, you know, I never really set out to do this. You know, I, I, you know, just one thing led to another and a bit of luck.